I'm fairly early on in my transition still. It's only been 16 shots. Um, I was watching a video about how someone knew that they were trans. And I was thinking, like, you know, that's not really how exactly it worked for me. Um, and I wanted to, like, you know, think about exactly how it happened. Because... For a while, it was a very slow process. And then it just rapidly sped up, and I never went back. Um, I mean, I, I wrote like a little, a little bit for myself, you know. And I want to share that still. I can record it on here, and I don't know. I think it's important that um, people know that if you feel that you're, you know, trans or whatever, you don't have to have the, you know, the history of like, you know, extremely masculine behavior from, from you know, age two. Gender is a, uh, it's a spectrum, and even trans men can be more feminine after, you know, whenever they transition, they can be gay, they can be more femme. Sometimes they might even, you know, want to wear makeup and do their nails and stuff. So it's just, it's a very broad spectrum, and... I just kind of wanted to share this. So, um, most trans people talk about the signs as they were growing up. I believe they're important to recognize, you know, for myself, but the most important realization didn't come till I was an adult. When I was younger, my gender was pretty fluid. I liked Barbies and cars, wearing dresses and wearing jeans, playing house and rolling in the mud. <laughs> Catching bugs, tadpoles, and playing with my male friends. And female friends. As I got older, I grew to despise dresses. They felt nasty to me. I felt ugly in them. For my 13th birthday, my mom threw me a beauty party. It was like an Avon party. Because I didn't want to wear makeup or shave. And I just hated my body. I was very uncomfortable in my body. I just, I didn't, I didn't feel good. I felt pressured, so I picked an eyeshadow from the Avon lady. And, you know, I wore that on and off. And it was just like a, it was a struggle between then and when I turned, like, 24-ish. At 24, I felt like I needed to embrace my femininity. Or never fit into my own skin. Like, if I didn't, I wouldn't fit into my own skin. I wore makeup, dresses, and did my best to fulfill what I thought meant to be a woman. I got interested in Lolita. And we'd wear dresses casually. Um, I would like the really puffy dresses. And I would, you know, do my hair. Which I would be continually cutting off and growing. And cutting off and growing. And so I would have to come up with these really creative ideas of how to, like, fashion my hair to make it look more feminine. Even though it was, like, really short. Um, but that I finally decided I was going to try and grow my hair out, I was going to wear pretty things, I was going to be feminine, and that I was going to embrace this, and I was going to eventually feel comfortable in my own skin, and I was going to be happy, and I was going to feel great, eventually. 
Um, so eventually just started to feel like I was just putting on a costume, much to my dismay. Um,